in case in this case in situ dear boys least value and maximum compaction here i would like to tell you one thing maximum compaction mean maximum acceptable limit is 101.5% it means how much compaction 101.5% and how much will be the air bites v a i n s we will find out this one and this air bites should be greater than 4.5% if air bites are reducing the 4.5 or 4% then we will study its effects so this is my next case so here let me tell you as we have done earlier that gmb is equal to 2.601 gmm 2.768 and here compaction which i have already told you 101.5% so we will use this formula 101.5 is equal to gmb of the core then gmb of the marshal or reference this reference value is given to us 101.5 is equal to gmb core over 2.601 so here we will find out the value of gmb core it would be equal to i will make the direct calculation of this one 2.601 multiplied 101.5 divided by 100 it comes out to be 2.640 with this value of 2.640 we will calculate the amount of air wires known as the in situ air wires v a i n s is equal to g m m minus g m b for the core c o r e over g m m 100 here 2.768 minus 2.640 divided by 2.768 multiplied by 100 So here the value of in situ air wires comes out to be 4.6, which is greater than the minimum limit 4.5. So so this is acceptable. Now why I have gone to this one? Suppose my compaction is 101.8 percent. In this case, your air wire is going to be reduced. let me tell you at this person what is the amount of the air wire it will give you very clear understanding uh, that how much would be air wire at this compaction 101.8 is equal to gmb for the core it means size is more compacted divided by 2.601 So here, G M B about the core, it comes out to be two point six forty eight. Now here we will find out the uh, V A I N S as per my previous formula, two point seven sixty eight minus two point six forty eight divided by two point seven sixty eight into hundred.
Now you see here the value of air wires is 4.34. It is less than the minimum requirement. In such case, we can say that this road is not going to sustain for the long period of time and it has some effects on road. If VA is less than 4.4, very important to understand what are the effect. You know, first effect, all the particles are very much close to each other. There is very less provision for the expansion of this bitumen. So we can read an inadequate room for expansion. What has to expand it? Binder. Which is a part of the HMD. When it is an inadequate expansion, it means here you will keep one thing due to the rise of temperature or due to the further densification, we can say that bleeding. And breeding is a road failure. It is going to produce, uh, due to this breeding, smacking sound. Then road safety. Due to this road safety, we can say that traveling on such road is not safe. And at the same time, we can say that road is going to have the plastic behavior. At the end, we can say that rutting will occur. Ending the road is going to reduce its life. After making the understanding of these three, let me tell you what is the ideal situation. You know, air wires, it should be greater than 4.5. Air wires should be less than 8.5. So this is the limit. Some technical specification may be giving 4, some technical specification may be giving 8. Maybe 4 or maybe 8. But we have to talk about the ideal situation. If when in situ VA is within the range of maximum 7% such road is more reliable and long life. So keep this in mind. Such road is more reliable and long life when we have the air wires within the range of 7%. So, so this was the brief introduction which I have to told you about the result related to all my previous videos which we have done for the quality control testing of our bitumen content. So, this is the last part of the quality control procedures for our, uh, this uh, bitumen mix which is taken to the site up to the degree of compaction and what are the side effects of the in-situ air wires. I have completed it and till now all these quality parameters are finished. Thank you very much. Up to now for seeing all my videos.
in next lecture i will try to explain what is the meaning or what is the effect of moisture on the asphaltic surface or on the hma in my coming video thank you very much for seeing